show you guys how to make a scary double barrel cake that's not too scary. So the first thing that we want to do is prepare our first half of the double barrel. This is a nine inch cake. So this is going to be on a nine inch round. And actually I trimmed a 10 inch cake board down to nine inches using a cake pan as my guide. I'm just gonna attach that with some buttercream. You could also use ganache and then tort this guy in half. And to do a double barrel, you're actually going to prepare two cakes and they can be different flavors, mine are, or they could be the same flavor because they're separated by a cake board. So I'm only gonna show you how to prepare one of the layers because I assume you can figure it out for the second layer. The only difference between the nine inch, this layer and the second layer is the second layer, you want to put it on a eight inch cake board. Even though it's a nine inch cake layer, we don't want the cake board showing through the buttercream. So that's important. Remember that one of the layers of the top layer to be specific has to have a smaller board than the very bottom. And that will be clear, you know, as we go along. Layer, more buttercream. I am using my red velvet cake recipe from my book, if you're interested in checking that out, and my easy buttercream recipe for the filling here, which is a Swiss meringue type buttercream that takes 10 minutes to make, it's super simple. The way I prep my cakes is I bake them and then I let them just sit in the pan for like 10 minutes or so, and then I pop them out onto a cake board that's covered in saran wrap and I cover it up and then I put it into the freezer for a couple hours and I'm not trying to freeze it, I'm just trying to cool it down quickly so that I trap in all of the moisture and you know also kind of firm up the butter that's in the cake so that I can easily handle them without them crumbling or falling apart. So when you're putting this buttercream on the layer, make sure you go through and hold your spatula nice and level and just flatten out each layer. And that way you don't get these domed up layers of cake. So you see how nice and flat that is. And I've been doing this for a long time, so I'm pretty fast at this. This might take you a lot longer and that's okay. So now I'm just going to crumb coat this baby, which is just a thin layer of buttercream. And then I'm going to pop her in the fridge overnight because that's how my process goes. I bake all my cakes and then I chill them and crumb coat them and then I let them rest in the fridge overnight. But if you wanted to do this all in one day, you could pop this baby into the freezer until it was nice and firm. But you don't want to freeze it all the way through because that results in a crazy humidity sweating mess, which ain't nobody got time for that. At least I don't. All right, crumb coat has been achieved. That aside, so this is our, this is going to be our bottom layer and this is our top one, which is, is a chocolate with salted caramel buttercream. And you can um, kind of see here that the cake board is smaller than the cake. And so that way, when we put this cake on top of this cake, the board will not show through. That's a lot of cake. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves though. Into the fridge to chill. Okay, are we ready for the magic to happen? I'm ready. So we have our chilled buttercream cake and got my buttercream ready. I've got a spatula and I have something called a fat girl cakes bench scraper. And this is a tall one so that we can go all the way up to the top of our cake. I have a level here and I've got some straws, which is gonna be the support in our cake. And then I should have some scissors. Maybe it's always something. Okay, so remember, this is the layer of the cake that has the full nine inch board around the bottom. And we're going to basically smooth out our cake on top first. And this is, I'm just kind of putting some buttercream on there first. And now I'm quite practiced at this, so I'm pretty good at getting the top of my cakes pretty even without having to do many tricks. But obviously, you know, I've made like thousands of cakes, so it should be expected that I'm pretty good at this. If you can't quite get it even, you know, it takes you a couple tries, that's okay. That's why we have a level. So you put your level on top of your cake. See, I'm just a tiny bit high on this side. And being level is very important on these types of cakes because they're so tall. So I'm just gonna scrape down just a, just a hair. All right, that's right on the money. And then we're gonna go right to the other side and that's right on the money. Perfect. So now that we have our top level, I'm gonna build up the sides. Just putting on nice thick layers of buttercream. 
And then once we have a nice thick layer of buttercream, by the way, I am using a turntable extender from Innovative Sugar Works, which makes my turntable much bigger than what it normally would be. So I definitely recommend you guys, you know, investing in one of these puppies. It just fits right over the top of your turntable. So it's great for this. So you take your Fat Girls Bench Scraper and we're gonna put it right up against that cardboard round. And we're just gonna keep this right flat against the side here. We're going to very carefully smooth away the excess buttercream. Do not be tempted to move your scraper back and forth. Just let it do its work. All right, and then I can see that I have a few little blank spots. There's little divots down towards the edge. So I'm just gonna go back and fill in with buttercream because we don't want any little holes in our buttercream because that can turn into a bubble. Don't want bubbles. Smooth out the top edge. Now I'm going to put this into the freezer for like 20 minutes because I want it to be nice and firm on the outside for us to stack our cakes. By the way, these are fat drinking straws or milkshake straws. But before I do that, I am going to put in my straws. And these straws are what supports the second tier from swishing the bottom tier and you have to use these. So the way I do it is I put one straw right there in the center, measure where the top is with your finger and give it a cut. And the rule of thumb for me is one straw for every inch of the cake. So this is a nine inch cake. So I'm gonna make nine straws and I'm using my middle straw as the guide. This is how you end up with straws all over your floor. Four, seven, just two more. So I want these to be about a half inch from the edge. You don't want them to poke out the side of the cake, but you want your straws to be pretty far on the edge of the cake because if they're not, then your cake can tip over pretty easily. And we want this to be nice and stable. So one there, one directly on the other side, and one here, and directly on the other side. I like to make sure the hole is right in front of me, making sure I'm going up and down. And we put one in between each one. Believe it or not, the ones on the outside edges are almost more important than the ones on the inside. Okay, and then one in the center. And you know, if, if you feel like you wanna add more, you could put three more right here for a little bit extra support. That's not what I do, but that's totally your call and up to you. More supports is always better than not enough, right? So into the freezer for 20 minutes, and then we'll put on our second tier. All right, got our cakes out of the deep freeze right there. And I am going to cut out roughly about an eight inch parchment circle. And this is just to put right here so that when we go to cut our tiers, they're not totally stuck together. And it kind of keeps the buttercream away from the middle piece of cardboard. So we're setting our second tier right on top. And center this guy. Okay. And now I'm going to fill in this little crack here first. Push, push the buttercream into there. Smoosh it all in there. Now let's build up our top, just like we did with the bottom layer. Do a little measure. A little bit, a little bit high. Close enough. Now build up edges, nice thick layer. Okay, and then we're going to take our bench scraper. See how it goes all the way up to the top? That is a beautiful thing. I'm just gonna slowly start scraping away the excess. And 
got a couple of low spots. I'm gonna fill those in. Almost done. You know you're done when you can hold your bench scraper and you put it up against the cake and you turn it and no buttercream comes off. That means we're perfectly level and straight. Okay, still got a little bit. That is about perfection. Okay, and now we smooth out our top. See, that wasn't so scary. It's all about structure, preparation, and a little bit of confidence. Oh yes. Do you see this beautiful cake? That is a sexy, sexy cake. It's so sexy, I'm gonna take a selfie. Oh yeah. Cheese. Okay, that's it guys. That is how you make a double barrel cake using buttercream, not too scary. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to panel this monster because who wants to cover this entire thing in fondant? Not me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Liz Merrick. See you guys next time.